New study shows children who are spanked are more likely to defy parents, have more aggression, antisocial behavior, and mental health problems. This study, published in the month of Journal of Family Psychology, analyzed 50 years of spanking research. Now, it showed while kids may not immediately defy their parents after a spanking, they're more likely to be aggressive a bit later, to have worse relationships with their parents, and to grow up to have alcohol and substance abuse problems. Now, just to be clear, this study focused on open-handed spanking and not beatings. Researchers wanted to see if the time-honored practice really works as well as people believe it does. So as you can imagine, this has gotten a ton of comments online. Last time I checked on our Facebook page, like 350 comments. So we wanted to see what some people were saying. Michael says, this depends. Everyone is different. Spanking might not work with some kids, and it may with others. Mike says, spanking works great. You only need to look at kids of today, the no spank generation, to see how well it did work in the past. Also, we have some more here. Patricia says there are other ways to discipline, such as a timeout, taking something away, etc. One more says from Carol, oh please, the greatest generation was spanked. Did they become crybabies? Millennials weren't spanked and, well, they are crybabies. So a lot of opinion out there versus the old days to the new days, the millennials versus the greatest generation. So a lot of people talking about this, and we're going to talk about it some more as well. Let's send it over to Stacy with the latest. Thanks, Josh. I just threatened to take the cell phone away. That's, That'll work. That's perfect. <laughs> so what do experts think about this spanking study, and does it seem accurate? Today, Eight on Your Side has answer, answers, expert answers. Joining us now is psychologist Dr. Stacy Schechner. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. What's your take on spanking in general as a psychologist? Yes. In general, just like we used to have horse and buggies and we didn't have cell phones, now we do. So maybe it did work in the past because that's the only thing that parents knew how to discipline. But mm. now we have so many more ways to discipline kids, so many more research-based, empirically-based, scientifically-based ways that help kids learn you know, rules and consequences. Because a lot of people, probably of a certain generation, say, hey, I was spanked and I turned out okay. I personally was not spanked as a child. I so. was not spanked either. And I deal with this almost all day long in my practice. They say I was spanked, so I turned out well. But if you really think about it, do you want a parent out of fear or do you want a parent out of love? Also, when you don't pay your electric bill, you don't get electric, it's not that you get spanked. When <laughs> you, you don't get electrocuted, that's you right. get electric cut off. That's okay. right. When you speed, you get a ticket. You don't get spanked. So if right. you tell your child to brush your teeth and they choose not to, then you have to pick the next consequence afterwards to train them. When mommy or daddy tells you to brush your teeth, then brush your teeth. Spanking has nothing to do with it. Because truthfully, consequences are throughout life. That's they, exactly right. You will right. find them in all different ways and it won't be physical. And it won't be physical. With school shootings and with bullying nowadays, the last thing that we want to do is teach kids through any type of physical aggression or violence. We want to say to them, when you do something wrong, this is what happens in life. Not someone's going to come up and hit you. So if you don't listen to mom or dad, here plainly are the consequences and you need to learn them. So when does spanking cross the line? Because there are still a lot of parents out there who believe in it. Spanking definitely crosses the line if you're doing it out of anger. So if you're angry at a child didn't do his homework or got a zero on a test and you spank them, you're actually role modeling that when you're angry, you hit. They're going to hit in conflict at school, maybe with their friends, with teachers as they grow up. So you're actually saying to them, it's okay. When you're angry, this is what you do. Instead of if you're Good angry point. with your child, count to 10, go back and say, okay, because you did this, this is what will happen. Will happen. All right. Most people do have an opinion on discipline spanking, and we're interested to hear what you have to say. Feel free to share your thoughts on the News Channel 8 Facebook page. And thank you, Dr. Schechner. Josh?